Okay, it's done. Hot! 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 Okay, guys, so I really have been enjoying making these recipes about like weird things that I find on the internet, and I decided to maybe we can keep going with it and see where it takes us. Anyways, long story short, I found this really cool slider meatball recipe and I thought that was a really cool take on an original slider. So I wanted to see if it was good or, you know, we could eat it. Because we all know my cooking can sometimes be questionable. Some things are good, some things are not that good. Let's see if this one's good. I left the link to where I got this recipe from down below with the list of ingredients of anything I added or took away. Honestly, I feel like this could be cooked. It tastes like Italian, but it could be like mall Italian, so it might be like good, it might be bad. We're just gonna hope it tastes not good enough to be from Italy, but good enough to be from the little Italian place in the middle of the mall. All right guys, here are the things you're gonna need. One large deep dish pan, olive oil, garlic powder, Italian seasoning, salt and pepper to taste, whole wine rolls, these things are so delicious. Ragu, frozen meatballs, mozzarella cheese, and Parmesan cheese. Okay everyone, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Okay guys, so now we're gonna start assembling our meatball sliders. The first step is to get your package of pre-cooked meatballs and prepare them in whichever way the instructions in the back says. For this exact packet, it tells me to throw them in a microwave, con microwave safe container and cook them for a few minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. You follow your packages, they're all different. All right guys, so now that I followed my instructions for my pre-cooked package of meatballs, they smell amazing by the way. I'm gonna go ahead and follow the next step, which is opening up my Hawaiian bread rolls. And we're just gonna slice those in half, like so. So I'm just taking them out of the package. Lay them flat on the bottom. Now this can get a little tricky. All right guys, so now that we've cut, we're just gonna get the bottom half and place it inside our oven safe large dish. And now that that's done, we're gonna go ahead and move this aside, go back to our meatballs. So we're just gonna open our can of ragu, like so, and pour enough so like that each meatball's covered generously. I poured about half. And I'm gonna stir, and we'll see if that's enough. So now that I've mixed my sauce into my meatballs, I'm gonna go ahead and season them just for some extra flavor. Do this to taste how much or as little as you like. First thing I'm gonna use is garlic powder. Next thing is just pepper and salt to taste. Give that a good another mix. All right, now that I went ahead and mixed all my flavors in there, we're gonna just get one meatball and put it in each square. Okay, now that we've put meatballs in each square, we're just gonna get a little bit of ragu and just sauce it up. Okay guys, so I went ahead and added about two cups of cheese, the good old Kraft mozzarella, onto it. And now we have some really delicious cheesy meatballs. You're gonna get olive oil, and you just want to sprinkle a little bit of olive oil on top of the bun. Just rub that in nicely. All right, now that we've done our olive oil, we're gonna get our Parmesan cheese and sprinkle that all on there. I love cheese. And then get your Italian seasoning and do the same. So now we just cover it and put it in the oven at 350 for 10 minutes. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna go ahead and 
have enough. Put it in the oven, like so, for 10 minutes. All right guys, so I went ahead just now and took it out of the oven. We had it there for 10 minutes and I just wanted to film a close up so you guys can see. You guys see all that cheese. So delicious. Just look at that right there. Oh, it's stuck to the plate. So I'm gonna go take a bite and we'll see if it tastes as good as it looks. Wow, this is really good actually. This is like, it tastes like food court Italian. Like what it is, it's really good. The Hawaiian bread gives it a nice sweet texture and the meatballs are really well seasoned. All in all, it's a five out of five for me. Love it, it's delicious. You guys should really try this at home. It was pretty easy to make. Okay guys, I really enjoyed making that video. The meatballs were delicious and it was so much fun to make. Make sure to subscribe and like below. We're creating a lot more content and I want you guys to not miss out on any of the fun. And also, like me on my social media and follow me because every now and then I film really cool sneak peeks and you guys could see things before they even post on YouTube. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Those of you who ask me what do I do with my leftover food, I eat it. <laughs>